So I was going to finish up for the night and, you know, go to bed because it's like fucking 11, almost 1130 at night. And then I saw this. <sighs> so Milwaukee parents sue TikTok over death of their daughter, nine, who herself during blackout challenge. Now, I had no fucking idea what the blackout challenge is or was until I read this article. Um. Uh, TikTok has specifically curated and determ uh, determined that these blackout challenges, chat challenge videos, videos featuring users who purposefully strangulate themselves until losing consciousness. That's what a blackout challenge is. Again, nine years old. So these, this Gen Z, these, these, these fucking kids, or technically is she Gen Z? The new generation from her to freaking, you know, 13, 14, all the way up to what is considered Gen Z. This is what they're known for now. Stupid shit like this. I mean, it's completely sad that she lost her life. But one, where were the parents? It says in the article, they gave her her first phone at seven years old. Ariani got a phone at age seven. Why does a fucking seven-year-old need a phone? And you can say, oh, to contact their parents. Okay. Well, why not use the parental features on them? Everything has parental features now. You can go in and block whatever the fuck you want. But let me answer my own question. Because that would require being an actual parent. That would require actually parenting. And they don't want to do that. They just want to fucking stick their kid in front of technology and let the technology do the rest. So you have all these fucking kids making these fucking videos and the parents are like, Oh, we had no idea this was happening. Yeah, because you don't fucking care. You stick your fucking kid in front of a phone or a tablet or a TV or a computer and they're like, Well, I did my job. And this is why people are doing stupid challenges. We have... Apparently this blackout challenge. You had the Tide Pods where they were fucking eating laundry detergent. You had one where I think they were like taking as many pills as possible. So they were chugging pills. There was one where there was like the, the knockout challenge where they fucking punching each other till they blacked out. And then when these parents see like, oh, I, I didn't know. Yeah, because you're not doing your fucking job as a parent. It's not that hard to just look to see what your fucking kid's doing. It's called being a parent. If you know they're seven, eight, nine years old, maybe you shouldn't be leaving them alone with technology. Again, everything has parental controls on it. Computers have parental controls. Um, phones have parental controls. You know, TV have parental controls. You can block sites. You can block apps. Why don't these fucking parents do that? Instead, we have a bunch of dead fucking kids who are like, oh yeah, I'm just going to strangle myself until I fucking pass out. And then they don't just pass out, they fucking die. So, it, it's sad these people lost their kid, but they're part of the fucking problem. They're part of the reason they fucking lost her, because they don't want to do their fucking job as parents. I mean, a fucking seven-year-old? I didn't get my first fucking cell phone until I was like... 14, 15 years old, and it was a fucking flip phone. We didn't have the kinds of phones they do. Ours pretty much make phone calls and you text. We didn't have apps or anything like that back then. But these kids have access to everything at their fingertips at all hours of the fucking day. Parental controls. Use them. Um... Happened in 2021. And it's pretty sad that freaking TikTok is not only suggesting the this content, why is it even allowing this content? If you're sitting there and you're fucking strangling yourself until you pass out, maybe this content isn't safe for anyone. And once content like that is continuously pushed off of the, 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 the platform, 
people will stop doing it because they've realized, oh hey, I'm not gonna any, I'm not gonna get any fucking clout from this because they're not gonna promote it. And then suddenly people are gonna stop dying because of a, uh, the lack of oxygen. And then people are gonna stop dying because they ate too many fucking uh, laundry detergent pods. They're gonna stop dying because they've decided to punch each other to the point where they were giving each other fucking brain damage. Don't allow this shit on your fucking platform, and it's going to stop. They're going to see, oh, hey, I can't make money from this. I can't do anything with this because this, the platform is not allowing it. Young users' incomplete brain development makes them more susceptible to becoming addicted to using TikTok. Yeah, no fucking shit. And scrolling through videos designed to retain their attention for longer periods of time, according to the lawsuit. No. If you look at TikTok, it's nothing but short videos, and they're meant to be as mind numbing as possible. And we've looked at several of them on my channel. The who is this, you know, what's this content for? Or who's this content for? You know, the, the face humor, the people who waste food. It's all supposed to just numb your brain so that way you're just like, uh, huh, 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 funny. Oh, here's another one. Oh, they got mustard on their face. <laughs> it's funny. They're not long videos. Then she discovered the challenge. Again, it's terrible that she died. But it's not only TikTok's fault, it's her parents' fault. I mean, I, I hate to be the, the, the bearer of bad news here and, and so blunt, but had you paid attention to what your kid was fucking doing and you took the time to just go onto the fucking phone and set the parental controls, this wouldn't have fucking happened. How hard is it to just be a fucking parent? But as I said, they just want to stick their kid in front of technology... And, well, technology can do the rest. Because what could possibly go wrong when you have an impressionable young mind sitting in front of uh, a cell phone or a tablet or a computer for however many hours a fucking day? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, has also been using the app to amuse herself with videos, according to the lawsuit. Yeah, I just returned from a road trip for last July, where her stepmother told Ilani clean her room while her stepmother rested from the drive. After the nap, they would go swimming. When the stepmother had went, to, went to Lilani's room, uh, an hour later, she found the girl from her bed with a rope around her neck. Uh, she had laid out her bathing suit, and they were free to Lilani and called 911. Please determine Lilani, uh, Lilani died from self-asphyxiation as a direct result of attempting TikTok's blackout challenge. All parties are wrong, uh, wrong in this case. I mean, yeah, the kid's the one that did it, but she's nine years. she was nine years old. Kids are stupid because their minds, you can just mold them to what you want them to be it was up to the tiktok and it's up to the fucking parents again sh why does why did tiktok even allow that shit on their fucking platform if you don't allow it then people will stop doing it and even if they did continue doing it they're not going to be able to post it there for clout and that goes for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Every platform should be the same. Where it's like, if you're posting shit like that, immediately flagged and immediately removed. So that way, users are like, oh shit. Well, I can't build a fan base or viewer base on me being stupid and doing this stuff. So I guess I won't be doing that. Oh well, you won't get the views. But at least you get to live another day. Um... How fucking hard is it? How fucking hard is it to just be a parent? And they can say, oh, well, she, she said, the, it said that she went to lay down and went, went to bed. And again, if they had used parental controls, the reason why they're 
parental controls are there or is for parents to use them, then she wouldn't have come into her daughter's room to see her fucking hanging from a rope. Had you been a good fucking parent, that wouldn't have happened. Had TikTok done its fucking job to take that kind of uh, content off their platform, it wouldn't have fucking happened. That is why TikTok is a cesspool of bullshit. And the sooner it fucking gets removed or, or, or like purged of all the bullcrap, the better. So, yeah. Are there any comments? Of course not. Why would there be any comments on this one? So, I mean, I, I can't say that I want them to win the, the, the thing here because, quite frankly, it's their fault as well. But, I mean, funerals aren't cheap, so I hope they get some kind of compensation considering it is TikTok's fault that they allow that content to be on their platform. If when it comes to self-harm, you should not be allowing that shit on where they know that there are people under 13 using it. That's the thing they know, even though there's, they have it to where you, you know, you're not supposed to be younger than 13. You're supposed to be 13 or older. They know for a fact. The lawsuit claims TikTok knows many of its users are under 13. And that it markets to people under 13, despite the user, uh, the terms reporting to limit the app's use to those 13 and older. So they know there are freaking people under 13, and yet they continue to push that kind of content. And people, they wonder why no one likes, you know, why older people don't like fucking TikTok. Because this shit. People lose their lives because of stupid fucking challenges that appear on TikTok that are being pushed to, to, to kids. But hey, what do I know? That's it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.